Hey guys, we're gonna talk about laser damage. So everybody's got everybody's got these things, the back glass laser machines to laser off that cracked back glass. And as long as you take the logic board out before you do that repair, you're not gonna have any problems. It's a great repair. But if you don't, then you can get into lasering the motherboard itself, and that's gonna cause problems, especially with camera and flash. And I've got a case right here that this laser did exactly that, chewed up the board a little bit, and the complaint is that this phone had a flash problem right after the repair. So let's take a look at the phone first. All right, so here it is, and I've opened up the rear camera. Rear camera's not working and it won't take a picture. If I flip over to the front camera, the front camera is working. So that's the problem. Let's go ahead and take the board out and we're gonna look at it under the microscope. All right, here's the board under the microscope and we can see the laser damage if we flip it over. There it is, Zzz, the laser has just sizzled right through here and these two resistors there have been destroyed by the laser. Now, how do we know that for sure? We're gonna flip back to the camera connector. Now, whenever we're troubleshooting a problem, like the camera has anything wrong with it, we're gonna start by looking to see if any lines are short or open in the connector. We're gonna suspect that it's gonna be lines uh, 13 and 14 that end up going to the connector here, but let's go ahead and confirm that. So I will get out my multimeter, diode mode, red probe on ground, and I'm gonna start going down this connector and checking to see what my values are. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, ground, ground. And then here I'm getting on that pin 13, open line, OL. Oh well, open line, overload, over limit, whatever you want to call it is perfectly fine. It means the same thing. Let's jump at ZXW and check out that spot. So let's drill in. It's pin 13, up oh, pin 12, so the wrong one, pin 12 and pin 14. So both of these we're getting ultimate resistance, too high to measure, overload, which is because this line is open somewhere between the connector and the rest of the line for both of these. Now, what do these things do? These are data lines that are required for the camera to communicate and for the camera function to be normal. Where do they go? Let's see if we can take a guess. Let's click on one, flip ZXW, Look at that, shocker, they go to the resistor right there. And the other one, if we click at the other one, number 12 and flip over, it goes to the other resistor. So these two resistors must be broken open and that's what is causing at least one of these camera problems. So our first step, is to fix that. Now, how are we gonna fix that? One thing is we could go and say, I'm gonna replace those resistors. Since so the resistor value, we can look up on the schematic. Here on ZXW, it's telling us, this is a resistor with an ohm value of 0.00. .00. You know what else has an ohm's value of 0.00? .00? A wire. So we can just use a wire. Not every resistor, but this resistor, because it's a zero ohm resistor. So we're gonna go ahead and take out those damage resistors and replace them with wires to see if that heals that laser damage. All right, here we go. Okay, one is done. As a fun frame of reference, just how tiny this is, I'm gonna stick a quarter Look at that, I'm gonna stick a quarter under the board so you can see just how tiny this is. About the size of the letter E in God We Trust. Maybe I'll start doing this on, the, on all these streams. This is fun. And there we go. So now let's go back to that diode mode and see if that actually closes this line. And I like that you can see on this one how something where that laser had exposed the copper, uh, the copper mask that normally keeps the board so that it can't take up solder was gone. So you can see that kind of like silvery blob there. That's what we mean when we say tinning the board. All right, let's go back and check back at ZXW on those same pins and see if we still have an open line.
There we go, 0 0.408 and 0 0.408. So we have closed those opens. Now let's put the board back in the housing and see if the camera and flash will work. All right, board is back in the housing, all plugged in. Let's prompt it to boot. All right, now we have rear camera function and front camera function. Rear camera function, let's look at the flash. All right, so the flash is working and it has rear and front camera function. So there you go, camera is back to normal. So that's the deal with this one. It's pretty typical. We've seen not just those two resistors, but we've seen a capacitor damage. We've seen the filter damage in that same spot. So the laser can get to your board. Take your board out when you're doing that back glass repairs. And if you, you run, run into, into any, any kind of, of camera, camera issue post back glass repair, then learn how to micro solder with us, come up for training, or you can mail in your repair and we'll take care of it just like we did this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.